Do I have a lot of background noise because my partner is so available to his family? Oh, no, it sounds fine. We are live though, so hello to anyone Ooh. watching. <laughs> Uh, okay, yeah, this is like perfect timing. Let me just coordinate with the players. How are you doing, Natawa? I'm good. Uh, a bit tired. <laughs> Thankful. It was good that I didn't um, do it yesterday because my flight was delayed and I got home very late. Oof. <laughs> well, I'm glad you made it. <laughs> yeah. How are you? Good. I've got a lot of coffee. <laughs> and Pass me ready. some, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I see. I see. Uh, Team Hydra walking into their game. No sign of Las Bolsas. So yeah, folks. Uh, this is going to be a little bit of a extended day. Things got a little weird with the schedule. Um, we have. This, this actually, this matchup happens a lot, it seems. Las Bolsas and Team Hydra will be playing first. And then in about half an hour, uh, Transatlantic Canoblines will also start playing. And then after that, uh, we're going to watch the other two replays. So we're going to be watching all five games today. <laughs> so It's going buckle. to be intense. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a lot of Hanabi. <laughs> um... Okay, yeah, I'm gonna write Sturm. Looks like their team's all ready. Uh, Natella, while while we're waiting, do you wanna? So, the teams are playing Rainbow Six Suit this time. Do you wanna talk to the, the viewers about, what do you think about Rainbow, especially compared to No Variant? I. I mean, one of my favorite variants is actually Pink, which is kind of the complementary of Rainbow, I would say. <laughs> um, I think that it's interesting uh, to deal with like the, the extra freedom that Rainbow gives in the sense that you can add extra conventions that, uh, when you use one color or the other with free choice and all of that. So it will be nice to see if that makes a difference. And if that affects any of the conventions they might have come up with for um, to compensate for the DDR, right? Because um, if you are doing like color and chop uh, saves, uh, the moment you mix in rainbow, that for the hmm. so I think it will be interesting to see if that affects the saves at all. That's a that's a great point. Okay, actually, hold on, I see. The other team is actually here. I don't know if... Wait. They are doing the last minute review. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it. Yeah, hold on. Let me... I was waiting for them to show up, but it looks like they were already playing. Yes, please make the table. Good luck to you all. Okay. So, yeah, that, that's a really good point. Um, I will say, it's funny, Las Bolsas actually mentioned... I think they have never played Rainbow before this tournament, so... Oh, wow. But have they... Pra I guess they practiced, <laughs> yes, they were just playing a game of Rainbow. <laughs> I, guess, I guess they've practiced at least once, so we'll see. Well, good luck to them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright, and folks, I guess in the last second I'll say, um, if you check out this chart, and I think if you write exclamation standings in the chat, you can actually see how, how people are scored right now. Last round was wild. So you can see the total MP, that's match points. So in the lead is the Transatlantic Canoblines. Um, second place is tied with Team Hydra and Team 4. Las Bolsas coming up next. And then JKLM, they're the newest of the new blood but they're still on the board with four points. Um, yo, it's Piper. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> All right, we are going in. Um, let me just make sure I don't mess this up. I, I probably will. 
Okay, Las Bolsas. Okay, well, maybe. Okay, go ahead and start. I think they're both like waiting for each other to start now. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, okay, all right. Here they go, folks. Do, do, do. <laughs> uh, all right, let's let's start. I, I got some feedback last time that it was a little um, whiplashy. To we, we jumped back and forth a lot. There was a lot to talk about. So I'm gonna try today to, you know, focus one table and then the other a little bit more. So I see oh. Natella is spectating. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I'm there. All right, Natella, <laughs> kick it off. Kick it off. What are you What are you looking at? Let's say your forehead right now. Tell us about the board. Cool. What stands out? Hmm. I mean, uh, I don't think that I, I'm very fresh on which conventions is every each team is playing, but I guess that they are playing mostly H group. Um, That's a good point. Yes. Um, Team Hydra with with Sturm and Darth Gandalf, Tails Forehead. They are doing, I believe, like level eighteen H group. So okay. a lot of fancy stuff. And it's funny though. I think it kind of uh, it didn't pay off on round one. They actually bombed out the first round. So maybe yeah, they risked going fancy. And the other team, I believe, is pretty beginner conventions, but also some. Mm -hmm very unique conventions that they made up themselves. So they actually allow for like three saves, four saves, all sorts of stuff. Yeah. I, I would be interested, I guess I don't remember from the last stream to see if this team in particular has any type of three saves on, because in that case, I'm, yeah, I'm not sure if I would go for the blue as well. I guess that the green one is duplicated, so. There's no reason to and there's always a five to. Oh, that's a good point. Okay, yeah. So five maybe CM. that is clever. Yeah, blue dodges the green one here, and that's a great point that it's it's duplicated over there. Okay. So yeah, stay. I guess that it can be used also um, later to save the green four. Not that it's needed because it's also in forehand. Uh, oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And actually, this this is what you said earlier, right? Is a nice thing about rainbow and pink is that you can pick up cards. So I really like Gandalf's yellow clue here, and now mm -hmm. you can see just magically, right? The mag uh, the uh, I almost said the magic three and the magic four, <laughs> rainbow three and four are now saved forever. Yeah. But it's also like with four with six suits. I think I've noticed uh, when I've been practicing for the invitational is that it's the global the total efficiency that you need is less but especially if you don't want to discard any cards that are good um you need a very high efficiency at the beginning and also to be careful that you don't lock yourself mm -hmm. so i mean it's always hard to find the balance i think between touching as many cards as you want and not like forcing yourself to like not committing yourself for too long ahead yeah, that's a really cool. I yeah, that's a really interesting trade off. Um, oh, I see. I see a note here. By the way, forehead says, mm, "This should have been five pulled." But uh, interesting, interesting. Tails decided to just do the one for one. Oh but my gosh. That would be just a five star, right? I mean, I guess it depends on their conventions, but. You know, my guess is, I bet what Tails wanted is to leave this yellow card available to eject. But little did Tails know, she also had a, a five. Yeah. So we, we got an ejection here. Oh gosh, do you want to explain quickly what a five color ejection is, if anyone in the audience doesn't know? Oh, sure. Um, so... I guess that you can do all the pointing stuff, <laughs> but the idea is that um, when we are this early in the game and we flew uh, five with color, that uh, we give a color clue that focuses on a five, it's not that probable that we have actually the whole suit right to play. Um, so in that case, it's we always say that it has to mean something else and it calls for the next player to eject, so play second finesse position. 
the formal um, criteria to decide whether it's a finesse or a 5C is um, if it has to be too away from the label, uh, if I remember that correctly. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it, that, that's the thing. It is a pretty high-level convention because, like you said, yeah, there are there are some, you know, corner cases. So it's it's very, you know, if you get it wrong, it can lose the game immediately, right? So high yeah. risk, high reward. Looks like it did work out for them here, right? Sturm did indeed eject, and you can see the whole team wrote five on this card. So that's yeah. a really fancy way to get two cards with one clue. Fancy, fancy. <laughs> but before you ask that, I was actually looking at the yellow clue to Tails. Um, I wonder if I would have played if I was Darth. Because, yeah, I mean, Tails has a save dis uh, discard and the two mm -hmm. might be gettable next round. I don't know, I guess that it's good to protect the yellow four, but as I was saying before, it's hard to strike a balance, right? Yeah, it is. Whew. Especially, yeah, I mean, I guess the last round was black six suit, and so, you know, sometimes saving cards is easier there because you can just oh, include yeah. black. But, uh, yeah, I think you're totally right. And that, that's something I'm, I've been really enjoying about this tournament is m having people really have to start caring about bottom deck. So, uh, all right, five yeah. stall. Oh, we have our first discard, but Ooh, it is not that a bottom was fast. deck. It was, yeah, it is fast. <laughs> I guess there's nothing else to clue. That answers your question, though. They are not doing three saves, it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is a BDR, though. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna let's let's uh let's switch to the other team because it looks like they've yeah. ended the early game. So let's now watch the uh, Las Bolsas early game. One second. If you're going to go play, Here that's gonna be harder go. for me. <laughs> oh my gosh, speak of the devil. Look at this ah! three save. It's beautiful. <laughs> do do they, they play with three saves then? Uh, yeah, the way they said it, on, in the first round, the, the chat was so interested because they were doing a lot of really cool stuff. Yeah, um, it was one of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And they said, like, it's not always possible, but it's sort of just is context. So, uh,. Because I think all these mm -hmm. players have really only played with each other, so they've sort of developed their own conventions, which is really cool. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was nice to see some Spanish speakers around the server. <laughs> yeah, totally. Uh-oh, I just heard a bomb. Okay, well, hold on. Let's let's go through. So they start with ones. So... Yeah, let me... I guess that if I follow you on the stream, I will have some lag, so... Oh yeah, I'll there might there might be a little bit. <laughs> if you say turns, it can help me follow up. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm gonna go right from the start, just turn by turn. Yeah. I'll I'll do a quick uh, rundown. So ones, Ramon plays. We got a five. I bet that's just a five stall. Yeah. Yeah. But it's ones... curious, right? Because there's the yellow. Ah, so that is one thing. I know they are playing with um left focus. So yeah, if yellow. Unfortunately for them, would focus slot one as playable. Oh, they don't have chop focus, I see. Yeah, it's, it's funny. But, still, but yep. still, the one clue can always work, right? So I still don't. That is true, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. But let's see. Play, play, play. <laughs> I'm trying to read their chat. <laughs> oh, I can't help with that. <laughs> yeah, what, what are they saying? Hopefully not a table talk. <laughs> no, they were discussing when to start. Okay. But yeah. <laughs> Someone had to leave for a... Morgan had to leave for a second and the rest um, said to, to let them know when they were around already. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think we're almost caught up. Honestly, you know what I like? Yeah. They're playing a lot uh, slower, which I think that's something Steven talked about last round. Is that mm -hmm. he really he was he was uh, telling the uh, the chat that he really advises to play slow in the early game because then it'll help <laughs> you out uh, later in the game. <laughs> yeah. So let's see. Honestly, here. I have to say that I I suffer from playing too fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How how are you feeling about in the invitational tournament the idea of having a timer in the tournament? 
I mean, I'm not used to it. I since I stopped playing, like there was a time where I was playing more pickup games than I do now, and then I was more used to the timer. Mm-hmm. Now it's harder, especially since we were considering maybe um, thinking of some new strategies. Um, but the time limit, I think that can put a bit of a damper on that because if it's something that you're not so familiarized with, it takes longer, right? So yeah, yeah. Um, but we, I mean, for now we are just trying to figure out what we want to do, and at some point we'll start testing with timer and and see how it goes. But I'm excited. I think that in the competitions. Uh, in general, if you look at the times of the of the games, our team used to be one of the fastest. So mm. I think that it can work in our advantage on the long term. Oh, cool. Okay, I, I didn't know that. That that is. Yeah, neat. I mean, <laughs> I think that even maybe the one exception is the throw it in a whole competition <laughs> because we were playing with all line plays uh, and like ejections, discharges, things. So there was a lot of back and forth. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. on the replays but in general <laughs> yes i think that we also like mess up maybe because we go a little bit too fast but we are just i don't know <laughs> committed i guess right well speaking of going fast it does seem that uh oh my gosh yeah i think team hydra has done like twice as many moves y'all have probably heard the doo 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 in the background but hold on, first I see a question from Piper. Are there, are there any chat rules for rooting for teams here? Hmm. No, you you can you can go wild, Piper. I think it's awesome. If, if you want to root for the new the newest of bloods, then Las Bolsas are definitely the ones uh, to to root for here. <laughs> <laughs> but um, and actually they're they're in the lead right now, at least based on this red or green three being lost. But let's see. Yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm going to jump ahead. Looks like we have a bluff. Very nice. Oh, wait, you're in here. Yeah, I went to <laughs> Team Hydra for now. We got the Did four save. Know. Oof, okay. Wow, they're, they're blazing through this. Maybe that's the Hydra thing to do. Yeah, so per- magically the purple suit's already done. We got wow. a five chop. Oh my gosh. <laughs> chop moves everywhere. This is a nice chop move, huh? Protect oh, yeah. Fours. Hashtag save the fours. <laughs> oh, and the multi two shows up. Oh, it would be is. nice to glue it with yellow, I think, right? Let's see. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, right. Now the fours are chop moved. Oh, what about the blue three sitting on chop, though? How, how are we going to save that? Ooh. No three saves. I mean, <laughs> whoops. What does Tails think or know about his chop? Uh, her, her chop, I think, is her. no idea. Yeah. <laughs> Pro- she just discarded trash, so. Oh, another discard. Wow. That's one way to protect a card, is just discard yourself. Monk, monk cool. S. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's a little monk hmm. S, but... At the level they play, would one to tails work? One to tails... Oh, man. That's a good question. Natawa with the spicy clue. Ones to tails. <laughs> Trash pushing this card but unnecessarily. <laughs> Let's see if we see it. Nah, but that uh, looks fine, yeah. too. Uh-oh. Yeah. Honestly, you know what this might do? I might like this, because it it gives... Oh, never mind, I keep forgetting these are chop moved. I'm a dummy. Yeah, the fours are chop moved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I keep seeing these fours and panicking, because I don't get to see the uh, chop moved graphic. Alright, well, this is looking okay. I They're wonder... All... Yep. I was just thinking if it wouldn't have been better to do um, the multi two with red something. Red? Oh, hmm. red to red to fill in the. Uh, mm, 
the multi like and the uh, and the red card. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. One thing I haven't been doing a good job of is reading people's notes. So let me see. Forehead says maybe M5 is faster, but this is safer. Okay. So forehead's going for the safety. Hey, I can't can't fault them for going for safety. No, no. <laughs> okay, and now they're taking their time. So it sounds it's it's like the opposite, right? They they played the early game really fast, and now they're slowing down. So let's let's jump back over. I mean, if they are more comfortable with the early game, um, sometimes, I mean, I can relate to that. I think that I'm worse at computing end games than I'm mm. at coming with ideas in the early. Like, if I sit there too long looking for clues, in oh. the end, I end up going for the weirdest line or like <laughs> overthinking stuff and messing up. <laughs> Solid, yeah, yeah. Okay, Ooh, okay, okay, let's see. Yeah, so sure enough, they're only on turn 17 compared to Team Hydra's, what was it, turn 38. <laughs> yeah. But, ooh, look at this save. Love it. All the fours. Wow. Yeah, but see, this is what I was um, referring to before. It's kind of hard to commit like this. Mm. Because, yeah. I mean, I guess in this case it should be all right um, because Green 3 is going to play. I don't know if it's even known. Mm, no, it's three saves. Probably not if it was if they just do three saves, yeah. I so. wonder how their conventions deal with giving a tempo clue on the greens. Like which four is the green? Oof, yeah. <laughs> That's actually pretty awkward, huh? Yeah, it's one of the other problems with Rainbow, right? That sometimes giving tempo clues is not that easy. Yeah, and so just for chat, if you're if you're seeing, let, let, I, I think I believe this clue is going to get these cards. So, just to jump ahead, if let's say these play, let's say pack off. Yeah, how are you supposed to get these cards to play? <laughs> Imagine green, right? Well, why isn't this just green for them, huh? Yeah, that's weird. I mean, I guess it depends on what type of saves they allow for, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Do they would multi-4v illegal save there oh okay that's a really good point yeah okay so maybe this is already known green hmm let's see is oh yeah one? it is known the note says that it's green <laughs> nice okay cool well that, well, that helps <laughs> his team is writing that he knows that card uh, he yeah. hasn't written anything yet <laughs> well that's or thing. we'll see or i should go with it <laughs> Okay, so this is another thing they told me. Uh, Ramon was telling me they do use useless clues, so sort of double admissions. Mm -hmm. So I believe that's what Zorzalet tried to do here with this five clue, was to get these cards. But Ramon decided maybe not, because maybe she's just locked, or I'm not sure. I think I would go with three. <laughs> I actually don't know their pronouns, so three? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three to Paco? Three to pack up. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. But of course, it's a different level. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That would be, uh, what is it? Pestilent? Pestilent? Don't make me say the name. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, taking their time, but things are looking good. Uh, they might be losing yellow four. But hey, actually, oh, no, no, wait. Pakov can't clue because then Zorzla will have zero clues. Uh-oh. Ooh, that play because Green 2 didn't. Yep, Roman says, my fault. Uh -oh. Also, BDR, right? That is a BDR, yes. Bomb or not, it yes. could be on the bottom, so. That hurts. <laughs> <laughs> that does hurt. All right, let's, uh, I'm, I'll leave Zorzla to ponder how's, Hyd green? how's Hydra doing. Oh, you're swapping up. <laughs> and chat, yeah, thinking. feel free if you have any questions or thoughts. We can always swap back and forth or... Uh-oh. I just saw the note. Is this a big meme? Yep, memed. Oh, dear. What did we miss? Oh, it's... Oh, they did a... Oh, they did an out-of-position block. Ooh. That's, that's the big meme. Oh, dear. <laughs> Well, how do you feel about out-of-position bluffs in a tournament? <laughs> I don't like them. 
I was so happy when they took them out of the, the list. Yeah. And I, I play with some people that still try to make them happen from time to time, and it's a fight every time. <laughs> oh my gosh. A friendly one, though. <laughs> You know, I got I think they lucked out a little bit because Gandalf immediately drew the blue two, and then Four had got it to play. So Tails decides, nah. <laughs> oh wow. Okay, I gotta say, it looks like they're kind of killing it right now. Yeah. Except for that. Oh, green how three. many BDRs did they end up having? Oh, sorry. It might have just been the green three, actually. But that might hurt them a lot. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, honestly, I mean, all their chops are safe. Yeah. And the guards are not in a bad order. I mean, yeah. the yellows, depending on how deep the yellow three is. And we are still waiting for green three, so yeah, it can hurt. Was that okay? That was known. <laughs> so how do you how do you like to decide? Whoa, that was cool. Sturm with the blind play. Mm. Nice. I mean, yeah, with the empathy that it has and the cards that are touching everyone else's hand, it's powerful. <laughs> That's actually amazing because he plays right into Tails' of five. Oh, there's the green three. They found it. Oh, yeah. And the yellow three. They are... Yeah, everything's there. <laughs> well, cool. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll leave them to it for now. And let's jump back. I'm curious if they will do the purple push. Would it even work? I didn't check the most. Oh, on, on Hydra? Yeah. Sorry. Purple. Oh, 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 yeah. The purple does. Work. Purple to Gandalf. Oof. I see. Wow, yeah. <laughs> let's let's go to the other side. Yes. Oh dear, I, I, I heard something. I heard I heard a bad noise. <laughs> I have the website muted usually, so <laughs> Oh, oh no. Ooh. Oh it was the green four. Ouch. Oh no, F's in chat. Oh no. That's the worst kind Was of Was that as a... I don't know, that's that's really hard. Oof. I mean, it's definitely a hard situation, right? You're, you're locked. But I, I agree with you that, um... Yeah, that four, when it was saved... Looks pretty green to me. Hmm. Well, it happens, and you you did mention this earlier that it, it it's really hard to be in a locked situation. So we saw that last game. Um, Nick likes fire. Needed to discard a black fire. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so it was that very hurts. sad. Well, at least it's not a VDR, right? <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> That's a good point. They managed to avoid both BDRs with the green fours. <laughs> oh dear! Oh dear! Let's, let's see how they manage to save... They're not out of the woods yet. There's a lot of cards left on chop. Let's see if they play with trash chop moves, because they could do the same sort of clue um, Hydra did. Oh, yeah, the one they did before with the one. Yeah, chop moving Bob. Super Bob. <laughs> not even the Bob, right? Just the one? Oh, yeah, no, I, did, I just said Bob. I'm, ah, I'm, I'm sorry. Kind of, I'm, I'm using Super Roman's position as Bob, so I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I have it the same way, but I it just misheard. That's another BDR. It is. Ouch. I just I I gotta say, I gotta say. Usually, you know, discards happen. This is my least favorite discard ever. When you if you look at Packoff's uh, empathy. You can see their note is that it's exactly a three or four. So you gotta oof. ask yourself, what is that you're just gonna discard, right? <laughs> yeah. So, oof. Especially because they are all still good, I guess. 
Thing. Yeah, yeah. Piper says, lost both sus and control sus. <laughs> Watch this comeback. <laughs> yes. Hey, <laughs> actually. Oh, ooh, Wait, Zerzlet. timer? Oh, man, five <laughs> seconds left. Oh, are we going to have a timeout? Zerzlet, you got to make a move. Discard another four if you have to. Okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I wonder if they're having connection issues because they were the ones who timed out in the first round, right? Yeah, they actually, yeah, we needed to make a, a special ruling. They technically timed out when, the, you know, it was obvious that they just had connection issues. Yeah, yeah. It was literally the last turn in the game, so <laughs> I gave them the point on that. Yeah. Oh, it's a PT that multi three ended up dying anyway. Yeah, see, I am surprised, right? They said they're using three saves, but... This seems like a perfect opportunity for something like a three save. I don't know. Maybe it's only in the early game. Maybe. Or maybe it's for a fact that they was confused whether his was multi, but I don't think. Oh yeah. Oof. Timer doesn't. Timer. <laughs> That's why I stopped playing with a timer. That beep kills yeah, me. Yeah, it's very. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Totally. I will say just for chat, if you're confused why this is happening again and again, um, there is a 20 second increment. So every turn you do get 20 seconds back added to your clock. So you'll never have less than 20 seconds to think. <laughs> At least. Oh dear, oh dear. I think that at this point the teammates should try to run down their own clocks to give him them time to that's a, that yeah, that's a that's a great idea. Meta time control. <laughs> yeah, that's allowed. I mean, yeah, if Pacaf wants to just wait a minute before discarding, that's fine. Fine with me, I think. Yeah. I mean, what it's not allowed is to read into the time that someone's taking, but... Yeah. And Piper, no, there are no, no good origin stories I know of. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to ask them. That blue three... It was another VVR. Yeah, oof, that's a nasty one. Probably from the four clue, huh? Yeah. But when you're in uh, the time, I think you have to take everything with a grain of salt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I learned a term recently that I love. It's, it's uh, we're seeing some spaghetti. <laughs> it's just... Oh, I heard that. I don't know what it... <laughs> <laughs> Me neither, really. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it just means you're noodling around and I don't um, know if, if maybe someone in chat knows better than me, but uh <laughs> Oof. I think that's just cool. hilarious. Oh no. I heard they like locked players. Well guess what? Now there's another locked player. Yep. Ouch. Bon oh and by the way, y'all probably heard it. Um Team Hydra managed, I think, a perfect score. So claps, claps to them. Wait, where'd they go? Oh no! Ah, oh, I hate this. When they're in a hypothetical, you can't, you can't scroll. Maybe you can open your own sh um, shared buffet of. Yeah. Oh wait. <laughs> Someone made a meme about that recently in the Discord. I wonder if I can share the meme. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, to <the> credit. <laughs> I think it was Valletta, yeah. I mean, yes. If it has to be someone, it will be the... The meme queen. What's her title now in HD? <laughs> I think she got her title revoked, but uh, it lives in... Not lives in on... Hanabi Central. In Hanabi Central, she has it. Oh, good, good. <laughs> Excellent. Well, I don't know how to share it. Hey, there it is. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, yeah, there we go. Me. 30 points. Congrats to Team Hydra. That's going to be... Yeah, it seems like their game was really good, huh? They did go with the purple. Looks like. Oh, the push? <laughs> Let's see. Yes. Ah, oh, nice. Yep. Ah. All right. There. I'll leave them to the review. We can. We can leave them be. 
And by the way, folks, um, I should actually check. Hold on. I think transatlantic canob lines are about to start. Ooh, yes. Yeah, oh, no. They should, they might be messaging me any minute. Actually, maybe they already started, huh? Sorry, one sec. Oh yeah, yep, yeah, they are they are loading up. Exciting. I see Fiora and Alex ninety two. Pandora. So yeah, we're gonna have a back to back game. Well, good that you only have to juggle two stream two games. <laughs> yeah, thank goodness. Oof, thank god purple three. Oh my god, yeah. Ooh, Showdown. it's, it's going to be close. I guess Morgan literally has to discard, huh? Yeesh. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's going to be such a relief to, to learn that these are purple. <laughs> <laughs> and Piper, that's... yeah, Piper, yeah, yeah, there is... I mean, I think there is an origin story there. I think they, they did say three of their members are in different time zones. I believe there's a team in... France, was it? East Coast, and I actually don't know where Fiora is. Do you know, Natal? Mm, Roughly? No, I don't think so. Hmm. But if I had to guess, I would say US, considering the times right, that right. I've seen her around. All right, are we going to get the tempo clue? Oh, I guess there are a few tempo so. clues. <laughs> Well, which, which, I guess that maybe here? if they flew, anxiety tells them to play that, right? So maybe... Oh, good point, good point. Maybe it's not needed. So what, what, what would the Natawa clue be? <laughs> um, hmm. <laughs> I think just, I would go for the simple three to Roman, to Bob. Yeah, that's fair. Hey, well, teamwork is nice. I, I, I think you're right about the anxiety, but I, I, I respect their cooperative spirit here. <laughs> yeah, of course, it's very easy to risk it when you're sitting uh, out here on the side lines, right? right? <laughs> yeah, our job is easy. We get to just say all the silly things. <laughs> uh, oh, that's funny. I see... Uh, they have a, a stray person joining their game. Missed us joined. <laughs> Instead of Nick Likes Fire. Whoops. Oh, I should just tell them they can start anytime. Oh boy. Oh, three was included. Yeah, of course they yeah. But that can hurt them. Right? Yeah, they're at pace three. Ooh, I actually, ooh, Whoa. it's kind of scary to see the other red four show up in Pack Off Sound. That means yes. they're, they have to just start playing. There's there's no time left for them. Fortunately, Empathy shows that this is actually known to be red. I think because they've all the other fours have been milled through. That's funny. Yeah. Interesting, interesting. Greens are done because green four is dead. We are waiting for blue three, which was a BBRs. Oh, yeah, yeah. Way back. Oh, it was the bomb. Ouch, ouch. Yeah. You know what's tragic is they did such a good job saving the green three, but of course mm -hmm. it was the green fours that were lost. <laughs> I uh, would be curious to um, understand that this card because it's not like it saved the, the card. Which in... one? Oh. So when green four discarded, yeah, I would like to understand like why did that happen? Was that trying to save the threes or or they just don't like being locked? Because you said they liked it, right? Uh yeah, it's it's been hard to tell. I, I I'm gonna guess it's not consistent. Um, they actually lost both purple threes in round two, I believe. Oh. Because, yeah, one person didn't three save and then the other one discarded the other. It was very sad. In a so, DDA situation? or? Yeah, yeah, it was DDA. So I don't know. At least 
Maybe those in chat. I would consider three saves. I think they're pretty sweet. <laughs> what do you What do you think, <laughs> Natalia? Have you Have you What do you think on three saves these days? I know it's sort of contentious. I right mean, now. it's it's new to me, but I like it. I think that it can give rise <laughs> to um, interesting moves. Mm -hmm. But and honestly, I actually prefer it to PBA. <laughs> so. Anything that makes me not have to worry about PPA makes me happy. <laughs> That's a good point, yeah. Another thing to do in DDA. Yeah, but okay. also, like, okay. if you can... Ooh, I would have pulled there. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll jump to should there. not be drawing. Ooh. Well, is there anything else to draw? Uh-oh. Blue 3, I guess. And the other copy of Multi 4, which would be good if someone got it. Yeah. Ooh, and weird. now they cannot focus it. Oh my god. <laughs> I forgot. Exclamation dump truck was a command. <laughs> it's true though, Wait. dump truck. <laughs> so, about their conventions, since you are a little bit more informed than I am, <laughs> mm -hmm. would now Red to Bob work as a focus on the multi I I believe so, yeah. I Actually, you know what? Way back when in the game, I think it was when Green 2 showed up. Yeah, I was actually surprised that they couldn't include Green here. Oh, well, never mind. Zora's Light's locked. Yeah, I don't know. I will say, this was the team that said they had never played Rainbow before, so... Oh, yeah. yeah. That, that must be hard. That is really hard. It would be interesting to talk to them afterwards and see what they thought and what complications they came, like they found in the change of variant. Totally. I might have to do that off stream, but I'm, I am actually of really course. curious. Okay, I'm gonna say, hold on, I'm switching the other camera. Transatlantic Hanab lines. <laughs> I'm gonna abbreviate it this time, T-A-H. Uh, and let's jump in. Yeah. There they are. Oh my god. <laughs> well, that's a long conversation in chat. <laughs> Good luck, have fun, sorry. No. Oh, nice. Alright, we're, we're into it. Let's see. Um, Nick started with the ones. See, I... <laughs> so, do you know what level they are playing at? Yeah, a little bit. They said it's something around level 9, except okay. they, they've been drilling chop moves, which I think is great. So I'm actually guessing, yep, with the 1's clue, I bet it was to chop move this red 3. So I don't know. What do you, what do you think about that? 1's versus uh, uh, your idea was, what was it, like blues to start? Yeah, um, the Let's first team, Hydra, um, started with blue, and I was wondering whether blue was better than once. It depends on whether you have five Cs, right? Um, oh, right. Alice can always see a couple of fives, so hopefully they will be usable. That's yeah. a great point, and that, that's exactly what we saw. Yeah, we, get, we got blue, and then they did a five C the next round, so... Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay, all right. <laughs> but at the same time, yeah, I don't know. Uh, because oh. I also like the possibility of getting the blues and then giving the green one. And depending on how they play, if they can somehow know that it's not multi two, uh, it can allow for gentlemen's and places, which I'm very fond of. Oh, yeah, yeah. So. Right, right. Well, we just saw another weird thing. This this is weird. That This is like exactly what Bolsas did. They did ones here instead of yellow. Why do you think... They chose that. Huh. I think that it's uh, about what I was saying before, right? That is it. It's not clear if it's good to save that four at this point yet. Mm. They don't see multi two, so committing that to someone's hand is early in the game can be a bit hard, especially if you want to save that green three, right? Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, man, how are they going to save the green three, though? <laughs> I don't know if they have three saves. Yeah. Yikes. Well, okay, let's let's jump forward and see, because 
we did see that that was the 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 level eighteen convention game. They did lose the green three here, so yeah, five stall, five stall, very nice. Eight. There we go. Good discard. Wow, safe. Now it's green, right? Oof. Oh, it's like so narrow. Oh my gosh. Yes, yeah. Piper, they are using um, H group level 9 ish. Plus some like screams and shot moves. Oh, wow. Okay. Ooh, that was a lucky draw. It saves blue four for a while. Yeah. But how are they going to tempo that green four? That's going to be interesting. <laughs> yep, same. Oh. Okay, Nick would. Yes, Nick. Nick is my uh, an old time friend of mine uh, uh, offline, so it's been very delightful to see him step into Hanabi. And I love that he trusted that this could be green three. So very nice, very nice. Are we gonna see? Oh, BDR of course, here? because it could technically be green four. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, in these situations, you gotta trust the team, right? Yeah. What? What is that? Is that an entanglement? I don't know. <laughs> it, you don't actually know if it's being a finesse or a save, so. Yeah. Oh, there's a BDR. Ooh, there goes one. I mean, that's a tough one. Yeah. The oh, only... and the purple. Yeah. Nice. Purple one, yep. Just in time for the finesse. Uh oh, wait, hold on. Let's jump back to Bolsas. We got yep. some action. Oh, they finished. Yeah, I think I think our chat heard the sound. Yeah, I have you muted, so. <laughs> okay, well, I won't spoil it for you. <laughs> um, boom. Oh, no, Zorzalette. Oh, they bombed it as blue three. I wonder why. I think... No. Wow, that's... What's the note? Oh, yeah, as, as blue three. Why? GG, sorry, no two players. Hmm. Well, uh, maybe they just figured they should take some risks if they're already behind. Uh, honestly, that's a weirdly decent strategy in a tournament. <laughs> But uh, didn't work out, so. I guess that it was their last chance of actually playing it, but. Oh, and of course the Hanabi gods. Of course the next turn they do. Draw you draw it. it, of course. Whenever you bomb, you bomb the. You draw the card you bomb for. <laughs> yep, you can sacrifice a strike to draw the right card, but you just have to make sure it's not your last strike. All right, well, claps to both us. They, they played well for literally. If it was the first time they've played Rainbow, then, man, that that's really hard. So, GG to them. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they were they were in tied for third before, so they're still not out. Yeah, they are not happy with how they performed. <laughs> oh, are they talking? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's always hard. I mean, yeah. Did you ever have a situation like that in a tournament where like things just fell apart? <laughs> Oof, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. And I also tend to like blame myself all the time, which sometimes happens. It's not always on on them. Um, yeah, it's it's annoying because especially when you're like have been training and it's been going well when you go to the comp and on the fail first game you mess up it's pretty annoying <laughs> yeah but yeah we try to i mean for us um i usually play the competitions with some subset of um pablo anti and jack mm -hmm. um for us it starting the competitions to participate in the competitions was more about polishing a little bit more our play style and experimenting and and trying to play at a 
at the, as high a level as we could because we all kind of fell off playing pickup games a oh. little bit and we were playing more in an informal setting but I kind of wanted a little bit more so I tried to create a team and they wanted to try too so I mean it's been very fun to play with them I'm looking forward to the invitational yeah me too oh my gosh <laughs> And I'm looking for it. I hope and I actually see uh, one of the Las Bolsas is in chat. Hello and GG. Even though we, we were just talking about how we've all messed up in tournaments and how it can feel hard um, at the time. But I love Natawa, what she's saying about like, you know, you can you just play these to improve, right? And yeah. this is the best way to just really challenge yourself. And obviously, you know, not everything will go perfectly, but... Um, yeah, and it's always... Yeah. It's always fun to try to come up to like the one thing that can make a difference, especially when we are all playing with the same conventions or almost. Totally. It's, it's, I'm very interested to see how the invitational will, will go since recently there's been such a an increase in development of. Oof, totally. Yeah, different systems even. Yeah. Sure. Let's, let's jump back into the game real quick, because I'm seeing some weird stuff happen. Um, okay, we got the green three play. The finesse worked. And remember, you you said, oh, the purple one. But I don't think anyone got the purple one when it was drawn. Yeah, that was... And it looks like they were punished for it. Fiora discarded, and it ended up being a BDR. Uh-oh. So we got a three. Oh, and there's... Oh, no. And it oh, was the, playable. Wow. <laughs> the cards are falling here. Yeah, actually, I, I believe purple right away would have worked, right? Yes. Because this plays and then purple matches, so this would be a uh, purple two. I wonder what spooked Fiora here. Maybe just Nick's hand piling up? Hmm. That is what happened to them last game, was Nick, Nick got locked. Um... Yeah, but that's I guess that's what can happen when you try to be tricky. Yeah. Um hmm. The Thorpals, they were all playable. Ah. Yeah, that's rough. And that's another BDR to be clear. The purple? Four? The, uh, purple three. Oh yeah, purple three it is. Well you know what's funny and is And in the end blue four died anyway. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> darn. Oh, sorry, did I spoil you? <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't gotten there. <laughs> well, there you go, then. <laughs> uh oh, what about the blue three? Oh, no, they lost the blue three. Oh, my gosh, it's it's oh. discard spaghetti. <laughs> no. Oh, and they got all the way to eight clues. Oof. Yeah, that's... You know, if, if you're discarding, turbo discarding all the way to eight clues, that, that's when you should reflect back and think... Maybe you've discarded too much. <laughs> yeah, but, hey, but I think that you know. in this situation, I might have used my my eight clue stall kind of to try and tempo um, the green four because that's always going to be crazy. To... Oh yeah, the, right, right, right. Yeah, you you pointed this out a while ago. This this is a really nasty setup. So you're saying while you're at eight clues, you could do like a I don't know, like blue or something. Yeah, maybe. I don't That's know fun. how they play if because since there's a playable to be given. Oh right. But hmm. I don't know when it's an unprompable card. I always try to be a little bit flexible. Yeah, yeah. There's been a lot of these cards, so even forced to nick, I would take it as a focusing card. Ouch! Ouch! Probably. Ouch! Ah, uh, you know what? I I feel for them though. You know, because. They act, there's just no legal clue like I was about to tell chat like well chat if you're in this kind of spot you know you, you don't want to discard here but literally what's Nick supposed to clue <laughs> yeah I was trying like, to figure out what well, could Nick think of these cards right yeah yeah it's oh that's a good point though yeah if if the whole team is discarding yeah what do you think he should what do you think he should do on turn 33 <laughs> Honestly, I think I would play my slot four because um, I don't think so. His cards are green or multi, 
um, two, three, four, right? So if it's green, it's got to be green four. If it's multi, it can be multi three, four at this point. But the multi two was clue direct. So oh, wow. I don't think he has multi three. Ah, oh, I see, I see. And the fact that no one tempoed the green four, it kind of tells you that it's on the right. So I might have risked it, especially considering that at this point the VDR is going to hurt them for sure. So. Right, right. Oh, that's really. Although I guess that turns are not that relevant in this competition. Uh, not not that relevant. I I will clarify. They they are a second tiebreak. So like, let's say they do manage to claw back to a score thirty. Then um. Yeah, it, it could matter. It probably won't matter. <laughs> Ooh, purple. Oh, well, look at that. That's one way to do it. Purple should clarify things. Yeah, okay. I think green four should play now. Please don't discard it. I guess. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Oh, no. <laughs> I hope not. We've yeah. seen that happen already today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come on, Nick. I believe, yeah. Yeah. Uh oh, this is awkward. Pace oh. three. Are they going to be able to make it? I mean, they can still hope for a good draw of multi four in someone else's hand. Oh, that's a good point. Okay, I was thinking that was uh, critical, but okay, amazing. Come on, Nick, don't draw the other multi four. <laughs> <laughs> that would be tragic. Um, oh, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. so finally everything's flowing. Hopefully it won't be thought of off as multi four. Yeah, it should not. Yeah, cool. And the yellow. Oh, yay. Oh, uh, the poor blue three BDR. I think yeah. we saw at least two of those today. Yes, I think that with Las Voltas it also happened. Lots of threes being lost. You hate to see it. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's what I was telling uh, you about before, right? That in if you really want to aim for BDR zero, you have to be super efficient in the early game. And that requires some more advanced uh, conventions that some of these teams are just not familiar with. Ooh, yep, that this yep. card was interesting. <laughs> I guess at some point they have to, but... Yeah, ew, endgame is so tricky. I guess someone has to, yeah. Mm. I'm trying to remember, I think... I think they've handled the endgame pretty well in the past games, but we have seen... Endgames can be really hard, right? <laughs> yes. So... <laughs> We have seen a couple like mixed missed Ooh. points. Oh no, yeah. <laughs> Ouchie. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Well, I mean, this will be interesting to see if they handle well, right? Yeah, I wonder if we might actually see our first actual bottom deck. <laughs> if the blue three isn't shown up. It could so be here it would be better for Fiora to wait, maybe? Hmm. Just to let well, the blue three still. Oh, I see. Just to let Nick play. Oh, we are still waiting for blue four anyway. So no, I think that that has to play. I uh, sorry, blue three. Yeah, <laughs> I think I think as long as one of them, some yeah, someone has to draw it, right? <laughs> yeah. So. So I guess they all have to try to. Also, oh, this dear. gives a play to Dora. Oh hello, dissuade me says maybe all weird. The uh, discharge of trash stuff should be changed to I'm not going to discard. Oh, interesting. Trash stuff in mid-game. Honestly, dissuade me, yeah, I, I think that's pretty good. Oh, look at Alex's note. Please be blue three. And the Hanabi gods hurt him. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but that green for five. <laughs> yeah. I mean, with this place, they can. Uh, that play. I don't think Nick plays there, right? 
Uh, did I have enough clues to stall? Maybe. But yeah, I think you're right. If Nick... That's really hard to see, though, right? If, yeah, if Nick stalled... Yes. But Nick see, stalled. now we have three players without plays. What, oh, would man. that be uh, one more point? It looks like they might be one clue short, actually, but maybe maybe not. Maybe not. I, I'll, I'll, I'll believe you, because I, I didn't really see... I didn't do the math. I, I'm trying to now, but <laughs> as I said, I'm terrible at, at endgames. <laughs> oh, right, right. It looked, yeah. I wonder if three is to the, I mean, I guess it depends on the luck. But you know what is interesting is, in that sort of situation, they might have gotten there, they might have been one clue short, but either way, that's wild, right? Because that means if they were able to save one clue through that whole game, it yeah. might have made all the difference. Oof. All right, but hey, 29, so GG's to them. Um, I believe that puts them in second place so far. Oh, interesting. High pull. Oh, I missed it. They were seeing if Alex had to delay here, if they had time to go a full round. Oh, oh. But I think that they have to do the high pull from, from next year. That's what they are trying now. Yeah, we, we can pretend to listen in because we know exactly what they're talking about. They're doing the math. <laughs> Five here. Play. Oh, they played the green five. Oh my god, the green five gives them the clue back. You were totally right. Yes. Amazing. And then stall, stall, stall. Wow. Yeah. Freaking end games. <laughs> <laughs> they are killers. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. So yeah, spend what, what was it? Uh, play the early game faster, and have more time in the end game. <laughs> <laughs> that will probably be my approach. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> I will say I I don't want to commit to anything, but I am considering increasing the uh the time for the invitational. It but... would be nice if there was a way of gifting time to your teammates from your club oh yeah because i think that every team has like the slower and the faster player right <laughs> you know that'd be wild if it was just like a, a team clock you know you, you have an hour to play the game and it, it just constantly ticks down it's kind of weird i mean you could do that with a timer it's not hard <laughs> i guess <laughs> huh. it might be easier than the a bit like uh, classical chess, not a, not that I know anything about it, but that after a certain amount of turns, they get some extra time. As oh, wow, well. yeah. That would be really interesting. Maybe maybe Libster or Zamiel would be interested in uh, coding that. <laughs> it okay, would have well. been nice to see... Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. I was thinking that it would have been nice maybe um, to see the positive uh information on the color pips for the competition already there was some prs um some time ago about that and i wonder if they would have made any difference like Wait, if the, they help people the color uh, I, sorry i think i, I got distracted because someone said uh, someone donated a, a hydrate oh i'm getting told to drink a lot of coffee hold on Ooh. i do not have water in hand so Coffee is kind of hydration, yeah. I don't know if the caffeine works that well for your body. <laughs> <laughs> eh, it's that kind of day. Yeah, uh, it would do that too if it wasn't like 10 p.m. for me. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Hold uh, on, just wait. To, uh, is anyone going to use that to invite that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe. But sorry, uh, Natalia, can you repeat what you said? I, I missed it. Oh yeah, no, I was wondering, so uh, some time ago there was a PR for an Abyss of Life that oh. implemented the positive uh, color clues, the same way that in pink, when you receive a clue, the number that you receive the clue for lights up, same oh. thing, um, but for rainbows. Oh, cool. I mean, it's sometimes, I guess that it, honestly in rainbow it's not that important it might help more when you have mixes of rainbow with like white stuff or no stuff huh. because in in rainbow the moment you have two cards 
like two colors, you already know it's rainbow, right? So it's not right, right. Yeah, I, I never thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, you I'm think so I would actually? That. But I, I've really liked all the features they've added recently, so. Yeah. I tend to be very impressed by all the cool stuff people think of. So that sounds neat. Okay, so hold on. Um, so just to catch everyone up, um, we just finished the third live game. But before we end, we actually have two replays to go through as well. So for anyone tuned in, which we actually have a lot of people tuned in, hello. This is me, Piano Bluk, and Nitawa. Hello. Um, <laughs> um, we've been hanging out for about an hour now. Um, and yeah, let's let's finish it up by going through each of these replays. Let's let's what do you think? Should we do it one at a time or split it up? I don't know. Chat, do you have a uh. preference? Uh I feel like, what do you think, Natal? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can do it as a shared so that I can follow oh, you there. Yes, Otherwise, definitely. I get some delay. Yeah, that's a good that idea. Shared good. replay. Okay, cl oh, hello, Klizix. Speaking of Klizix, we're about to see them as well. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's, let's do it one at a time. We can mix it up. Okay, so we have on screen, hold on a second. Wait, this is <laughs> JKLM, which is funny. I don't think they their schedule has been really rough, and we have not really. I think we saw one game with them live. <laughs> but okay, this is. I have not seen this yet, so this is going to be exciting for everyone. Um, and sorry, hold on a sec. I don't even know anything about their convention. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, here's their. I would say I've seen them playing around for H, with H group, but yeah, I think a, a few of these are pretty new players, so definitely some new blood amongst them. Yeah, it's oh. not. I, I've seen some of them around for the for the for the meetups, the events that have been organized, which I think it's been very nice. That's awesome. Yeah, it's, it's that's that's kind of why I wanted to do the new blood thing is lots of new players that I didn't really recognize. <laughs> okay, so we got ones again looking at the same idea, maybe chop move. Aha, okay, someone did the yellow clue. <laughs> I think that uh, Hydra <laughs> also did the yellow clue, right? Oh, probably. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it was it's a split. We've seen two one clues yeah. and two yellow clues. <laughs> All right, play all the ones. What's this? Aha. Bluff. Very nice bluff. Yeah, these threes were giving people issues before. Mm -hmm. Is this Ooh. a five stall, I guess? Two save. Uh-oh. OK, OK. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that the problem with that three, three bluff is that Lily just duplicated their chop move. Their chop right, right. Yeah, that's awkward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's see how they unwind that, if they ever do. Good point. It's down to being a three or four, so... I mean, that's good. <laughs> it's a start. Oh, there's the three gone. Oh, and the Ooh. Hanabi gods punish it instantly. Ooh, I no think fives. that I might have, yeah, gone for the five. <laughs> Would that be a stall or a chop move for their two? Oh, it's chop move because there was a discard. Right. I mean, it still looks like a fine job move. Yeah, I I do like it. Ah, but yeah, that's that's rough. There you go, green three gone. Maybe they tried to protect. They were trying to protect the green four. <laughs> yeah, I, I would definitely write spooked here, but. <laughs> <laughs> There's the. Uh, is this a chop move? Looks like it. Yeah. All right, but yeah, BDRs. It's tough though. This seems like a very BDR rich deck. Yeah. How, do you have like an average of BDR so far? Ooh, uh, that's a good question. 
I can I've been check. very curious about it. Like, what's the expected PDR? Because at first, like, if it was five suits, I would say PDR zero. Right. But yeah, six suit definitely intentionally will be more. I think so. Yeah. It does depend on the deal, right? So yeah, game one, the average was like three. Game two, it was only like one. Yeah, but in game two, you have less cards, right? So. All oh, right, it was black. Yeah. <laughs> good point. That's a really good question, though. I'll I'll be sure to uh, to calculate that at the end. Chat says, is it counted if the BDR you're killing is the one you have? No. BDR, for example, this is not a BDR because someone else has it. And you know, let's, let's, I, I did not play test these seeds. I, I very intentionally did not look at them. Uh, what were you saying? Yeah, I was going to say that um, if you have the... Like, saving or not saving cards is a team effort, right? And Abby is collaborative. So the BBR part is a little bit of the whole the whole team has to take care of of certain cards. And if you have red cards, you're not going to try to save maybe the red on top of someone else. You will let your team decide if that ha needs to happen or not. Totally. Which, yeah, I, that's what I love about it. It adds like a whole another level of, I don't know, strategy. All right. Oh, no. Tragedy hits again. The purple one shows up. Oof. Oh, and then no one wants to clue it. Chat, if you want to improve at Hanabi and not, <laughs> if you, sorry, at least if you want to avoid this sort of heartbreak. <laughs> Yeah, also, just, red just one can be bluffed, right? So. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know their level, but one to Kirstar looks juicy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess you could argue it looks like a. Yeah, mm. that, I feel like that should play. I don't know. But yeah, I, I agree. I don't, I don't know the level, so. Maybe, maybe Lily was expecting ones. G4 optimal. I That's think that... Interesting. Yeah, but <laughs> getting that blue four there, is it white? Uh, yeah, I guess it's PDR, but the purple can be bluffed anyway. I don't know. Yeah. I'm a bit scared with six suits of saving every, like touching all the cards at the end. Because you end up blocked as we've seen with other play other teams. I feel like once once we have all the ones down, like Lily can see all the ones. I, I feel like that's a pretty safe point to start saving cards, at least. But just just to yeah. show um, Dissuade's line, Ericlizix, and yeah, also hello, Oric. <laughs> this does look pretty good, right? Yeah. If, if play, and then say, like, play, I don't know. And what does that tell Kirstar about their hand? It could be multi three, I guess, but it shouldn't. Multi four, maybe. Yeah. It's tricky. Well, oh man, yeah, I think they all were sort of leaning on each other to do stuff, but then ah, ended with the three being lost. Yeah. Yeah, but now... this is what happens, right? <laughs> that this card was probably trying to protect the blue four. Uh huh. Uh huh. It's hard. Yeah, I mean, different <laughs> lines different risks so okay so we do get the one two shot move oh this could be red four right yes yeah so now they're a little bit on the back foot right one clue after all that there goes blue four mm -hmm. saw it yeah I mean, it's a fix in time. That was good. All right. Oh, no, another dupe chat move. <laughs> well, yeah, because they already have the red and now the purple. Oof. Oh, What's right, information well... on those reds? <laughs> hey, they, they could claw out of it, though. Um, yeah, yeah. It's funny, we, we focus so much on the BDRs, but they haven't actually lost a card, you know. <laughs> It'll show up eventually. There's the two. 
Ooh, no one's saving the three. Chop move. Yeah, That's I think fine. that their Gulin should have chop moved the blue three and let Lily tell them about their hand, right? Because very probable that they have. Oh my gosh! Wait, Natalia, look look at Gulin's note. Sus blue three. <laughs> Oof. Yes. Well, yeah. it will oh, be man. gone for, for four, apparently. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, well, that worked out. But you know what? I mean, honestly, the, the, the way they're playing this honestly reminds me a lot of how I remember tournaments playing. It's like, eh, I could save a card, but let's just discard, because then I'll draw something, you know? So yeah. this is very like a uh, classic Hanabi. <laughs> I'm usually on the shy side of discarding, so. Mm -hmm. Same. I don't think I like yellow as a tempo clue there. Let's see. Because, um, well, I guess that um, Donald doesn't really see any other yellow card, but I, I always try to make an effort to see what negative information is the most interesting here. In this case, it's about the purple four, right? Oh, interesting, yeah. So you're saying, um, what would be most interesting then? I agree, not um, yellow, huh? <laughs> yeah, I don't think yellow is the best. Green is not interesting because it's that's known, not green. Mm -hmm. Maybe blue? Blue's... Especially considering that blue three Oh no, blue three in discard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a really yeah. good point. That 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 maybe that's subtle, but just to, just to I I don't know if everyone is following along, but you can see this is something you can do with rainbow, right? You have free choice. So that's a really cool idea. By cluing blue, for example, it would give negative blue here. And then yeah, this this can only be three cards, right? It's it's yellow, green, or purple four. <laughs> And not even green because green is seen. So. Oh right, yeah. Okay, two cards. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. That this is a big difference, right? Yellow could yeah. be blue three or blue four or purple four. So. And like the strong thing of discarding more and more color is that the purple four is duped. So. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting stuff. All right. There's blue three. Oh, the two appear just in time. <laughs> what was this a self finesse wait mm. yeah. for the red too oh i see but they delayed it they delayed it to give a finesse here okay I, i'm assuming that's what happened but that, that's why would they do that though <laughs> hmm. Hmm. like they can play right Lily can get it. Looks like it, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Oh my gosh, yeah. I wonder if they're setting up for a brilliant, like, double gentleman's. Okay, no luck. Oh, no luck. <laughs> I mean, but that would delay things even further, so I don't think it's that interesting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if this is, like, exactly yellow three that shows up, that'd be kind of cool. <laughs> but okay, now things are rolling. They have. Well, finesse is everywhere. Uh, I wonder if doing the gentleman there would have been better. The red two. Ah, uh, it could be layered. Could it? No. Oh, that's funny. Now, now this is exactly known. <laughs> yeah. I guess because blue four showed up. Yeah, you can see, go and see it says Lamel. <laughs> All right, well. Oh, look at this. It's a known. Wait, I guess it could be... Well, let's see what happens. Okay, now it's trash. <laughs> yeah, of course, playing for free, yes. Nice, nice. Oof, but that Ooh. hand on... I, oh! Oh, no. <laughs> Don't play it. Oh, yeah, if they need to play it. Oh, oh. man. That's another subtle thing, you know, with, with BDR, is that it, it, sometimes you can't help but lock one player up with a bunch of good cards at the end. There's no way they can get this, right? Ooh, that's a good draw. Ah, I think that's the same line <laughs> from before, maybe? Oh my gosh. Eesh. Oh, they're one quick No. Star. There's no way. There's no way. No, no. 
Yeah, if, if, if this was the blue floor and this, well, yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's not quite there. So close. Another Almost. 29. Great job on that part. Yeah, GG. Whew. Um, yeah, they, they got some nice bluffs. What was on the bottom of the deck? <laughs> what was the bottom card? Oh, purple one. Purple one. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay. What was the deepest three? That's always my my next question. Oh, I've never thought of that. That's a good question. Uh, blue, the blue three. three. <laughs> yeah, we've seen it with some teams, right? That they lost a blue three to a PBR. Yeah, yeah. And and it was a little bit stressful there. Oh man. Well, hey, twenty nine. I mean, that's that's seems to be uh, the score to beat. Well, someone got a thirty, but twenty nine puts you right in the in the pack. Mm -hmm. But last but not least, we have one more for y'all. Uh, team four. Sorry, team team four. They're called. <laughs> I, I can tell you the origin story of that name. It's <laughs> they forgot to uh, make a team name. And then said last minute, I'll just call us Team Four. <laughs> Can't relate to that, yes. <laughs> um, team Four. Ooh, oh, we okay. have one of the players in the chat, actually. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Kuzix. right. Please. Hello, Kuzix. Yeah. And by the way, notice everyone, I, I added a uh, strike spoiler. So you can't see if they struck out. Unless you Ooh, go I wanted to your... see that. <laughs> oh, you didn't go with my suggestion, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, hold on. Let me let me just. Oh my gosh, I have to change the text. Team team four. Okay. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> All right, folks. This is the last game of round three until we sign off until Friday. What do you think? Do you want to bet? Do they start with ones or start with a color? <laughs> hmm. This was one of the like fresher teams, right? Uh, I don't I'm know. gonna I... say what's. <laughs> Actually, let me let me check. I, I I did get notes from them. They said they're playing with level ten H group. Um, level ten because many of us are really new to Hanabi. Uh, and mm. they joined because yeah, they just wanted to improve and have fun. So. So yeah, I think that the level 10 ones is the safe thing because you don't have ICs really. Aha, you called it. Hey. <laughs> and they did get the chop move, so cool. That that is cool, right? That yeah, you call yeah, all the teams that <laughs> didn't have access to that. I like it. Oh, hello, Simple says, I don't know why I haven't changed my Twitch. Oh, I, oh Rand P, okay, awesome. Hello Rand P. GG, oh, I don't no. know how you did, but uh I'm sure it was exciting. I'm excited to see it. Hey, yellow! <laughs> <laughs> I admit, I like the yellow. I don't, I don't know. I, yes. You're right. We can actually me. ask Ranpi if you consider ones there to not touch the multi four. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Ranpi, we had a couple Cathy's in your slot, um, clue one instead of yellow. Um, I, I guess, like, I don't know. I. Maybe it's because I have played too much max level, but at max level, I think it is pretty safe to touch these. Bikes. Honestly, yep. the thing that scares me here is that if you want to keep that uh, green three, green, the other green four is on chalk. So you're risking that Bob discards it and you lock Alice super early. Right, right, right. I don't know. I'm a, I don't like being locked, so I'm very aware of that all the time. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's legit. But okay, Rampy goes with the yellow. Uh, this is all... We saw this before, yep. Do we see the discard? No. Oh, yes! Five stall, excellent. Uh-oh. Stall or another... chop off? Because at this level, I don't think you have five stalls at one away. Oh, it was order chop off. Never mind. Oh, right, I yeah, see. yeah. Okay, good. We, we got the yellow clue here. Nice. To save. Excellent. Five stall. <laughs> and 
And there goes green tree. Yeah, rip, rip. Man, you know what's cool? I think Las Bolsas was the only team that saved this green three. They literally just clued yeah. in three. <laughs> yes. Unfortunately, they did lose both green fours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's the thought that counts. All right. Uh, DDA, very nice. And they all wrote it correctly. Nice. Well, they do bet that better than me then. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, what do they note? Green two play or green three save? Tiger says crap. Could be seen as green three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tricky. Oh, yeah. Ooh, did we get another DDA? Whew. Will Flame did a clutch DDA last round too, so Will has been on point. And there's the save. Right, because this could be green three. All right. Oh, wow. What do you think about this discard? Um, I was not expecting this, but oh, what's the idea? Hmm. Oh, Klizik says I should have played Red 1, but for Gore. <laughs> uh, Oh. Okay, okay. So just a just a mistake. It's funny. I I th I was trying to think maybe maybe it works as like a just generation. But no worries. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. But it wasn't even a. Oh yeah, it was. My bad. All right. No worries. Uh, if it makes you feel better, I think most teams lost this blue four. So. <laughs> Nice. And you love to see this down here. At least the person discarding yes. has trash. <laughs> All right. Oh, no, that's safe. Oh, the double purple. Oh, man. Wow, the ones. <laughs> yeah, Tigers with the best discards in the game. <laughs> All the ones. Yeah. Okay, wow, this is actually working out really well for them. Whew, Tiger's on a roll. Yeah. And actually, this is cool. Um, yeah, you said double purple four, but yeah, it's kind no, of No, I mean, they're it's, just, yeah. Yeah, they're ignoring it. It's one more save this card, but it's not a DDR. But oh no, no, oh, no. They, lost, they lost the purple four, what are they going to do? Oh no, if I'm Will, I'm stressed. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, they did have the note of extremely likely purple four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, th I guess it's from later, but... <laughs> I bet they, you know... <laughs> hopefully, he is just trusting the team. Yeah. They just says on the chat that uh, <laughs> they love when they're on this card duty, and it's great when, like, the game is going <laughs> like like crazy. But you are just in front of the locked person at one clue every time, so you just discard and trust your team. That's great. Yeah, actually, <laughs> I actually want to look back. Let's let's look at Tiger's clues. Hold on, hold on. Oh, spoilers. Tiger, discard green one, discard rainbow one, <laughs> discard yellow one. <laughs> They're killing it. Four discards oh, no, in a row. My view. Yes, I love that. <laughs> oh, five Wait. discards in a row. Amazing. We have to give points for that. <laughs> Style <Option points. DDR. laughs> I love actually that this is still marked as potentially green three, which is which is legit. But it's just funny when you see it sitting here the whole time. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, there's there's no reason to tempo it, so makes sense. Honestly, if I'm Tiger, I don't know the level they are playing, but would two two will work two, two. as a trash thing, like to get. Oh my gosh. Ooh, that's cool. <laughs> Ooh, that's spicy. Two to Will as a trash finesse. I guess at level 10, <laughs> it doesn't work, but... I mean, it's still really cool. I, I, I don't... What level is trash finesse? Too high level. Yes, probably. <laughs> I freaking love trash finesse. It seems like you do too, based on all your... You're pointing yes. out all these awesome trash finesses. <laughs> <laughs>
Very cool. If I'm, it makes if I'm me around... sometimes give a clue that was a little bit too complicated oh, yeah. just because I like them. <laughs> it's, it's hard to resist. Yeah. It is funny now, the team has been ignoring this too, though, so maybe it's just going to play, huh? Oh, well, there's better stuff to do, so. Yeah. Three. Nice. Sunglasses. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Wow. But now green two should, no, should play. Yeah, it's, it's this will be interesting. It has negative two now. I guess it could be oh. any other green card. That's a really sorry negative no, no. three. No, you're totally right. Because when it was clued, yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's a really good point. So as soon as it's clued, not three. Wow. I missed that. <laughs> Very nice. So now, yep, yeah, it'll play. Uh, hope, thankfully at this level they don't have prior, right? So no prior bombs. <laughs> Honestly, I, if I was to play in this tournament, I would actively turn off prior. I think, <laughs> but I just I that's something that I really like too. But you need to be like in a very good place with your team to be able to do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pryo is a scary beast. Because sometimes also there's like a, like asymmetric information that can be painful. <laughs> right, right. Hey, wait. Oh, this is. But just why? Like... Oh, I think it's just a jump on the five. Yes. <laughs> At first. But why I not just five? Like, I thought this was a crazy like triple finesse. Yeah. But no, of course, of course, it's just uh okay. <laughs> but why not just free clue five? Uh, yeah, that works too. Yeah, I guess that's Especially no... with the multis around? Well, I guess it's non track You know, honestly, I, I don't know. I don't I don't want to speak for Klizix, but I, I do love doing stuff like this sometimes because imagine if this card is... Yeah, I, you I can... I don't even know what it could be anymore, but <laughs> <laughs> it does technically allow for a safe shout. <laughs> Also, Klesex could just play it though. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that's true. I guess it all sort of transposes. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, but it's obviously very they're... Discord, though. Yeah, yeah. I think they're doing really well now, so... Yeah. Oh, man, I, I don't want to jinx it, but... They're, they've <laughs> set themselves up very well now that the the uh, criticals have shown up. So Clicks, Clicks is saying on the chat that they wanted Will to discard um, oh. so that they could draw more playables. But the card they play is going to be exactly the same one that you... Like, the one he draws is the same one that you draw if you play, right? And discarding decreases the pace while playing um, keeps it up. So... Yeah, it's subtle, but I, I think, yeah, as long as the pace is pretty... I, th I think you're right that you probably could just play here, yeah. But I, I totally get it, especially yeah, yeah, near endgame. Uh, this is something I like to call a CTD, a call to discard. Yeah. Um, I think, when, yeah, when I see this kind of clue, when at like max level, I like to mark like my whole hand as trash, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like... If there, if that, that, I think to justify wanting Will to discard here, it probably has to be all trash. <laughs> but yes, yes, because if they have a playable there, you don't want it getting closer to chalk before it's needed. Totally. So yeah, I think this is all. Oh, and there's the yellow three. There's the play. And you know what would be sick actually is now it's like hmm maybe I have a play. <laughs> <laughs> okay, play. Excellent, excellent. Uh, can this just play? Oh, okay. Honestly, I like the safety here because this could be green five, maybe. Right? <laughs> you you don't sound convinced. <laughs> but yeah. No, I right. mean, I don't know. There's two yellow trees. There's only one green four. Yeah, you're right. I mean, you're right. <laughs> this would definitely play, but. I, but I, again, I that's safety. that's prior, right? So <laughs> right. so that's another level. I I do remember 
I always got really nervous at this point in the game when it's like, yes. it's clear that you should be able to just win, but then you go into panic mode. <laughs> at least I do. Ooh, ooh, discard. Oh. Oh, because oh, this could be the five. Okay, okay. Wait, but it, what, it was safe with color, though. Uh... No? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's not a five. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know. Do you use safe fives with color and chalk? Honestly, well, I don't know. But again, I... I mean... I, I think I, I'm, I'm happy with all safety on, yeah, on this sort of situation. No, but I was just wondering <laughs> if you don't play with five CEs and... Um, green to chop is a safe, oh. why not use it for green 5? That's true. Yeah, fake save. But, honestly, I love it. They got the perfect 30. G Yay, GG! G oh man, I will I will go back and calculate the BDRs. I, I don't have to do that live, but um... Wow, we had two 30 scores, two 29s, and a tragic bomb out, right? So, what did you think, Natal? You we got to see all five games today. How did how did you think the seed was? I mean, I think that it's a very interesting seed to play with PDR accounting um, in like for the final uh, ranking. I I'm actually looking forward to playing this in high to See what I would have done. Oh I'd yeah. Be... <laughs> I yeah, I, I mean, I can shout out actually. If if anyone wants to ever play this, uh, you can. If you make a table, and do exclamation seed, uh, bloodthirsty one. <laughs> Whoops, bloodthirsty <laughs> one. Yeah, you can play the seed if you want. But sorry, <laughs> go ahead. I just realized also that on turn one, um, no team started with a five CE. Which, oh, yeah. honestly, it's not such a bad idea. <laughs> right, right. Hmm. I mean, I know some players that if Alice started with yellow to Rand, sorry, to um, Kathy, they would trust Bob to clue red to Donald. Oh, wow. And do 5C on 5C <laughs> that keeps the green one on finesse. <laughs> All right, hold on. Oh, man. It's, ah, it's, it's, I'm so glad you're on commentary because this is very cool stuff. Okay, so yellow here, you're saying. But, no, yes, exactly. And then Will is like, nah. Uh, red, right? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> eject into an eject. Delayed ejection here. So then we'd get like yellow, maybe play, play. <laughs> oh my god, that's spicy. Yeah, but this is a typical thing that you can play in, like, uh, chill games, not in competition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I miss that. I, ah, I I do want to do some silly chill games sometime. Klizik says we're playing level 10 with a sprinkling of context, so we definitely wouldn't have done this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, this line, It's I don't think it's a <laughs> competition-friendly line. It's I was just looking at it and, and seeing what other options there were because we mainly saw two openings once were blue to go um, yeah it's definitely a so comment yeah. it's a commentator line <laughs> <laughs> easy it's very easy to, to talk from the sidelines one thing I, I forget what team it was maybe hydra i did actually really like they declined to do a five pull and i, yes. I believe it was to leave this open for the five ce so that that was actually pretty cool to see yeah Oof. All right. Well, um, chat, I don't know if, if you have any thoughts or questions. I'm, I'm happy to... I'm not going to go do this live. That sounds incredibly boring. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, or, or any questions for Natawa while we have her here? Um, I guess I'll ask you, Natawa. Yeah? Are you, how, how are you feeling about the Invitational Tournament? It's coming up in just a couple weeks. Oh, yes. Uh... I don't know. Um, I'm very excited to see how it goes. Uh, our team 
Thank you, Kiritsu. Some of us are very busy IRL, so um, we have not had the chance to maybe practice as much as we would have liked for such an occasion, but we are just happy that the whole team made it to Invitational. So I think that that will in of itself be an accomplishment for the team. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited to see what y'all whip out and how, what you what sort of conventions you end up playing. Do you have any, I guess you don't have to spill the secrets, but have you talked at all about any, anything I mean, you want to do about BDRs or anything? We are doing some experimentation um, on the early turns of the game. My feel, like, in previous competitions, we've played with Dawn at the beginning, following uh. um, PvP, not to... <laughs> <laughs> shower with flowers to the <laughs> commentator slash judge <laughs> um, but I think that the uh, that we reached the conclusion that it's not that strong for six suits at mm. the beginning um, so we are trying to come up with some alternatives but yeah I won't say much more now because we are still not <laughs> sure if it's happening or not in the end fair enough yeah yeah well, I can't wait. That I'm, I'm so excited. I mean, this has been so much fun, and uh, yeah, I, I mean, I guess I, in case people aren't aware, there's literally going to be another tournament in a couple weeks, um, and the top two teams of this tournament are going to qualify and play against, yeah, some of the top players in the world. Um, get hype, I guess. <laughs> yes, do get hype. <laughs> Yeah, we, we have Steven in chat, too, another fellow competitor. Um, but yeah, I guess for now, uh, this was round three, and please join us on Friday. It's going to be a party on Friday. It's going to be, oh my god, Kimby is going to be joining, Steven, Ooh. and I think also Helena. So it's going to be like a, a party for the finale. Um, but yeah, Natella, thank you so much for joining. This thank you for fun. having me. It was very, very fun. And with that, I will see if anyone else is around to raid, because I always forget to do that. Um, do you have Marcus around? I hope so. Let's <laughs> see. We need more Hanabi streamers, so I can we can raid each <laughs> other. <laughs> Uh, you know what? No, I have no idea. I don't see anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Just go for some chess then. <laughs> yeah, I think there is like a chess tournament happening. I don't oh. know. Do you do you do you watch anything on Twitch? Other no, than other than Piano really. Luke, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not much. Hmm. For the invitational, have you considered if there would be like a, I don't know, hon honorable game at the end of the winner against PvP with a plus <laughs> one, I guess, since it's for players? <laughs> the final bot. <laughs> no, no, no. We we thought about like playing, uh, but I, I don't think the schedules would work out. Um, oh. I honestly, I'm, I'm very happy being in the commentary booth and just helping organize it turns it's out, much less stressful, I gotta say. <laughs> well, I don't know. I wouldn't. There's been a lot of scheduling has been very hard. <laughs> well, I meant on the commentator part. I cannot uh, say about the organization. I see. I see. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I wonder if it would be doable. Oh, sorry. Never mind. No, I'm, I'm just gonna enough. shout out. I'm going to raid uh, Alexander Kostinuk, a very amazing chess player. Um. But yeah, sorry. Any last words? Yeah. Tell them to go play Hanabi if they like chess. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. See you later. Thanks for joining. And see you Friday. See ya. Woo. Mm -hmm.